Hello guys and welcome to my winter project use it up. So welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new here. Today we are going to be going through my winter project use it up where I challenge myself to use up some of my body care items. I've got four little sets here for you and I'm dressed of course in my holiday best for you guys as if I were going to a holiday party. So let's go through what I've got for you guys. So first things first, let's walk through my snickerdoodle body care set. Okay, this one is probably the one I'm most excited for and it is the one with the most product. So let's go through it one by one. Okay, first off for the three new items that just came out this year that I'm putting in, I'm putting in Bath Muddy Works Jolly Gingerbread Village cinnamon dulce from tree hut and then i'm also putting in this beautiful fenty beauty butter drop warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream oh oh my god this is going to be the best combo ever so let's talk about this one first i did pick up the fenty skin little butter drop gift set and this is the warm cinnamon scent and as you can see i have used it already i brought this on a work trip and used it last week. It smells so good. It smells like a snickerdoodle. This is not just like a cinnamon scent. It is like a baked cinnamon, cinnamon sugar scent. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it definitely leaves your skin kind of glittery. So this one's so fun. I'm really excited to have this in for the holidays to really get me in the spirit and being like shimmery and glittery. It's just so cute. And then what goes better with that than the cinnamon dulce sugar, shea sugar scrub from Tree Hut. This one I'm so excited to use. It is currently unused. I have not even tested it yet. So I'm really excited. <laughs> the lid kind of fell in, but this one also smells really bakery and like cinnamon sugar almost. So I'm super excited to have those two paired together. And for the shower, I really just wanted to put in this one because I love this scent, but this is vanilla mocha cream in the shower gel. This one is just one of my favorites just year round. It's really a great morning scent, which is what I was picturing this kind of routine would be a morning shower scent. This is Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. I have used this a little bit before, so as you can see, we're um, kind of a little bit below the packaging line, but this is just a really nice, warm, kind of chocolatey mocha, but like vanilla mocha kind of scent. So this one's gonna go in the shower. And then after the shower, we're gonna go in with Jolly Gingerbread Village and Christmas cookies in the Fine Fragrance Mist. So Jolly Gingerbread Village is golden gingerbread, vanilla icicles, and yuletide timber. This is kind of on the opposite spectrum of a cinnamony scent. This one is much more gingery and it is much more of a earthy kind of scent versus a gourmand which I'm excited to see how it'll pair with Christmas cookies because this one does have a little bit of musk to it, I have to say. And this one dried down, this lotion, it's a little more musky. So this one to me smells a lot more like freshly grated ginger than a baking ginger. And with that Yuletide Timber, I think it gives it kind of an outdoorsy scent. So this one is really fun, definitely unique. Not what I expected out of a gingerbread scent. I definitely expected more cookie but I'm not mad at it, I still like it. And then to go with that, I have Christmas cookies and the fine fragrance mist. The notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. This one, one of my favorites this time of year, it's so yummy. This is like the epitome of gourmand. It is so sweet, it is so sugary. This is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. Just so yummy, and we are right here on the packaging. So I'm gonna be trying to get through this one, probably not finishing it because if you guys don't know, I finish Fine Fragrance Mist very slowly. So we'll aim to get maybe about halfway here. So now that we've had some snickerdoodles, I think it's time for peppermint bark, right? So that's what this next routine is going to be. I've got the I Heart Revolution Shower Shake in Vegan Mint Chocolate, the new Dove Limited Edition Holiday Treats Peppermint Bark Body Scrub, and my Coconut Mint Drop Trusty Fragrance from Bath Body Works. So first for this shower shake, as they call it, I love the packaging. It's like a little can. It's so cute. And the lid does come up like it's a can. It's adorable. But I have used this last winter and I am about right here on the packaging, almost halfway, but not quite. This is not my favorite scent, I have to say, because it's super artificial, just like super artificial chocolate. But it's definitely more chocolate than it is mint. I do like it, I enjoy it a lot, but yeah, it's super like synthetic chocolatey. So I just had to prepare myself for that, but it's really fun. Peppermint Bark, you guys, I'm so excited to try this one. So this is the Dove Limited Edition Holiday Treats Body Scrub. And these I have noticed 
are kind of shimmery. Not that they leave the skin shimmery, but they are a little shimmery and they're super soft. It's definitely more of a gentle formula. And on the back it says, invigorate your senses with the scent of fresh peppermint candy blended with rich creamy chocolate in a luxurious lather. This one smells so good, I cannot wait to try it. As you can see, I have not used it at all, so we'll see. I would love to finish this during the winter time, so that will be my goal. Okay, and last for that routine, we have Coconut Mint Drop. This one kind of doesn't really go with it because it has coconut in it, but the mint definitely does. So the notes are white chocolate, iced peppermint, and winter musk. This one is right about here, but this one is probably my favorite winter scent. Um, one of my favorite winter scents from Bath and Body Works like of all time. Just that like musk and coconut mixed with peppermint makes it so fun. It's not like your typical twisted peppermint scent. It's like a little more, I don't know, it's fun. This one also lasts really well on me. I can smell it like hours and hours after and I do get a lot of compliments when I wear this one. So it's one of my favorites. Okay, so next we have my iced sugar plum routine, and this one is literally just iced sugar plum from last year. So I've got it in all three forms, in the shower gel, in the lotion, and the spray. So here is the body wash from last year. The notes are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. This is one of the ones that I saved from last year. Honestly, not my favorite scent, but I like to have something fruity in here to kind of break up the gourmand just because it's not every day that I want something super fruity and fresh. And I think this one will be perfect for going into springtime. This one will probably be more so used in like February than anything else. So that's iced sugar plum in the shower gel. It's totally brand new. And then I've also got the body lotion, which is unused. I've got it marked all the way at the top. This is the cute little packaging with the penguins and stuff. It's super cute. And then I've also got the Ice Sugar Plum Fine Fragrance Mist here. We are about right here on this one. This one is probably the most disappointing out of this entire set, just because it does not last whatsoever. I think it's just a product of Bath & Body Works cheapening their formulas over time, because this spray has no lasting power. It is fun, it is fru fruity, it smells great. Like it really does smell like, like a plummy marshmallow. I don't know how to describe it. It's very sweet and fruity. And it smells so good when you first spray it, but it goes away in like 10 minutes. It's so sad. So I like this one a lot. I like spraying it a lot. It just like doesn't stay at all. It's really disappointing. And then to go with that, I'm gonna put in this Pacific Dream Moon perfume. I got this a few months back and I haven't had a chance to try it just because I didn't have a good like combo to do it with. But this one is patchouli, sandalwood, and pink rose. I just thought that this packaging was so beautiful, I could not not use it, but I'd like to branch out a little bit. I've never used a patchouli kind of scent, so I'm interested to see how it goes for like those colder months. I feel like this would be really fun. So this one is unused and I'm excited to try it. And now it's time for the last routine. And this one I'm just gonna dub the life of the party routine because I am using the um, shower gel, but this one is specifically for nights out. So <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. So like I said, I've got the life of the party shower gel. This one is a body care day release from last year and I have not used it yet. I think I tried it once. I really did like it and it's pretty much up here. So the notes are pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine and shimmering vanilla. This one just made me think of New Year's and like Christmas parties and just super fun. It smells like an elevated champagne toast. And then to go along with it, I've actually never tried this one. It's pink chiffon. I picked this one up during SAS this past year and I'm really excited to try it. It is sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tiari flower, vanilla orchid, and chiffon musk. It is a fruity, fruity kind of floral, but much more fruity than floral. It's very light on the floralness, which is perfect for me. I just thought this would be really fun to pair with that one. And then for the mist here, we are right about here on Twinkling Nights. This is one of my favorites to bring out around this time of year. It is Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whipped Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. It says, never miss a moment to make a wish under the twinkling night sky. How cute. But this one is really fun. It's definitely like a party scent. It makes me think of that. It's like bubbly and girly, but also has a little bit of like sexy intrigue with the jasmine petals. It just smells so good. So if it has jasmine in it, I'm probably gonna like the scent, but that is the last one in my little party kind of set. Okay, so that is everything for my winter project use it up introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As a reminder, we've got our snickerdoodle routine our peppermint bark routine, 
our ice sugar plum routine and our life of the party routine. So we've got those four going. I'm definitely going to try to finish off at least 10 products during this project, which will run through January and February, as well as this last couple of weeks of December. So I hope you guys enjoyed that introduction. Let me know down below what are the body care fragrances you're using right now. I'd love to hear from you guys. Are you using kind of a combination of things like I am or are you stuck to, you know, your one amazing winter scent right now? So let me know down below. And that's everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.